Uh, we got some NBA action that's going on. The season is among us. Mm -hmm. uh, the NBA is still, however, beefing with China. They was giving out the free Hong Kong T-shirts at the Lakers versus Clippers game mm -hmm. on uh, opening night. Not um, only did they give them out, <laughs> they raised $43,000 to have the shirts. Like, well, well, I mean, that's, that's insane. As wait, is it going? Is the money going to Hong Kong? So the, the no, but the Lakers fans. <laughs> I'm about to raise say why? Why didn't we do a? Yeah. Why we ain't do a real fast, real talk shirt? Why <laughs> right? Get about this <laughs> too. That's, that's that is crazy. For oh my goodness. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> China also refused to stream any of the games mm -hmm. from the opening night. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's going to carry on. They said probably throughout this whole first week. Yeah. Which yeah. is a major loss for the NBA. So they uh, missed Kyrie's 50-point game uh, last night. The they missed Center. Kyrie's 50-point game. Um, mm -hmm. What else they missed so far? They missed uh, Clippers-Lakers. Clippers, Clippers Lakers, obviously. Yeah. obviously. Did they know? Do they know about the free Hong Kong T-shirts then? Or did, <laughs> they they, they probably know don't know. They, about. they may not know. There was a fan <laughs> actually at the Laker game. I don't know if you saw the clip. Um, so you know how they do the fan cam that that scans the whole arena yeah and there was a kid who's holding up a Lakers shirt trying to get the camera's attention and as soon as they put it on he actually flipped it around and had the hong kong t-shirt on the other side oh wow and the cameraman kind of like get it off <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah it's it's interesting seeing this all unfold um and see more people speak out on it um vice president mike pence i don't know if you guys seen what he had said that he agreed um with you know the fact that nba prides itself with being like for social change mm -hmm. and saying all these things but they're keeping silent and he's like they're kind of you know being quiet when he feels like he agreed with the tweet that we should kind of speak out you know what i mean but Listen, i think Pence, it's too much to mike Pence should have kept that same energy when steve kerr and greg popovich and others within the nba family had or, or expressed their opinions about the president you know yeah. at that point that then part. it was it was mm -hmm. shut up and dribble yeah and, exactly. and now that it's a message that he would like the nba to continue to support yep now it's like, oh, they should speak freely now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Whatever. and at the same time, I mean, he's not in China right now when the whole thing was going right. on. Mm -hmm. NBA players Word. were in China. NBA staff members were in China. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to tell the NBA that they should be going back and forth and doing all this speaking out when, when they they're had not a safe, hundred, their livelihood yeah. is at risk? When they had a couple hundred people at risk mm -hmm. while yeah. being out there in China. Yeah, I mean, it goes to our conversation last week, like, the players on the front line. And it's so easy for everyone else that's sitting in their office mm -hmm. to comment and say that you shouldn't say anything, or, or you should, rather, and their families and their livelihood mm -hmm. is not at stake. So yep, I thought you that see. was interesting comments coming from him. But. I mean, everyone has an opinion on it. I think ultimately it is best that the players and, and all of the front office types just don't say anything. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of got to let this play out. Like I said, it's a very sensitive situation. And for us to speak on it here where we're able to um live freely and speak freely mm -hmm. you know it's it, it's kind of like a uh, uh what's the right wording for it because I, again i don't want to be insensitive to what's going on over yeah. there but you know it's hypocr hypocritical of us yeah to you know chime in over there when we have a lot of issues over here that we won't even address mm -hmm. yeah. so has Mike Spence said anything ever about Mike Brown? Or? And that's the uh, right where my mind went. I, I don't remember. I don't it was remember like, you guys have so much <laughs> to say. Yeah. Either. Has he spoken to any of those people? I don't remember. And did he uh, say anything release. about the, the two cops that just uh, killed um, innocent uh, unarmed people in, in their homes? Yeah. I, didn't, the I, don't, two, just I don't think he, did he, say anything he wasn't ready to comment yeah. on that. He didn't those. comment he on that? I think it's always easy for everyone to comment on their neighbor neighbor and not you know deal yeah. with their own house right. so of here course. in the u.s we have all these things happening to young black men but he makes a statement about hong kong china mm -hmm. so I, I don't know i think it's definitely hypocritical and i don't know let's see how it plays but out that's that whole office though they kind of you know, <laughs> messed up like that so yeah. you, know, you can't you know what are you, what are you gonna do when, when, when his uh, his boss is even worse than he is because uh, you know he got at uh Steve Kerr and uh, Greg Popovich as well. He tried to. He's always trying to get at those guys because they are like, the most outspoken mm -hmm. um, as far as coaches or any kind of um, NBA personnel. Yeah. As, you know, and on that side, GMs, coaches, uh, upper. So you know. And I, I think it's consistent to the fact that people go back and forth on whether or not you know athletes should speak out on all these things. So one moment it's like. Oh, speak out against it, and then the next moment it's like you know, don't you know, like you said, shut up and dribble. So it's like, what subjects are okay for athletes to have an opinion or for Whatever managers? Whatever benefits them. Yeah, okay. like Absolutely. it's, it's <laughs> so like, interesting. You, you pick and it. choose. Yeah, but um, it, it, I mean, is, it is what it we'll is. We'll see. Hopefully, it uh, kind of dies down a little bit mm -hmm. and let the guys just be able to play. But 
you know, we'll see how it plays out. LeBron took a lot of backlash for it. I don't think he should have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I think overall the NBA should just, you know, kind of keep their mouth shut on this one and just let it kind of play out and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and I think at this point, you know, we kind of spoke on it last week. Just let Adam, Adam Silver be right. the mouthpiece. Nobody else, I think, at this point needs to speak. He's the commissioner for mm -hmm. a reason. So let him... Uh, you know, do his job, and he's been actually he's been doing very well. So you know, big shout out to Adam Silver and how he's handled everything, yeah. making sure you know everyone you know did what they had to do in China, but also everyone came home safe to their families, yeah. and he'll address you know the situation accordingly. Like I said, as it I comes think, about, I think he's always done a good job, like saving, you know, saving yeah. face for the NBA and saving face for coaches and general managers. Mm -hmm. Much better than I think the Davis NFL Stark. does. Yeah, oh, and, and <laughs> Roger Goodell, right. That's a whole yeah. another conversation, yeah. you know, that we, we've gotten into several times. But, <laughs> yeah. I mean, to lighten it up. We don't a got little. a whole show for that. Right, right, right. <laughs> this is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Come on, live. the camp. Uh-huh. This is Hi, Real Fans. Yeah. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought.